Hey guys, this is Amit. Welcome to the introduction to programming with Notepad++. In this video, we are going to look at 12 reasons why we should be using Notepad++ as a source code editor. Now, why Notepad++? Because there are literally hundreds of source code editors, text editors, IDs out there. And so what is the reason, what is so special about Notepad++? Now, let me just quick quickly give you a survey result. This was the survey done by software.com and in which they asked different developers what uh, were, what were their primary text uh, editor environment, not just text, but any developer environment. And the results were quite interesting. You can see that Notepad++ is right on the top three and it's also competing with Visual Studio even. And so Notepad++ is by far one of the most popular uh, text editor out there. Now, of course, everybody has their own favorite editor, but if you look at the Notepad++ development and community and support, it is still one of the top, you know, top three or top five editors out there. So that is one of the reason. The next one is it's completely free, uh, free as free beer. Uh, you know, many of the other editors cost a lot of money. If you want Visual Studio, it's pretty expensive. Even Sublime Text, which is a pretty popular text editor, even though it's completely free in order to avoid those uh, constant, uh, you know, uh, buying dialogue, uh, you still have to pay for it. And so in, in terms of cost, Notepad++ has a huge advantage. It comes out of box free. Uh, you can install just a regular installer or even a portable uh, Notepad++ uh, completely free. Now the third ex third reason is it has a large language support. Now if you go to language section, uh, you can see that it literally has hundreds, even thousands of language support. Uh, one of the mo like all the common ones are all included already in the default installation of Notepad++. So if you're doing a particular core development, you don't need to worry about it because most likely it would be supported by Notepad++. And if it is not, you can actually even use, uh, in, uh, introduce your own uh, user-defined language in that as well. And so it has a large language support. Uh, number four is it, it provides a syntax highlighting, which most of the other, uh, you know, modern uh, tax editors do that. Uh, uh, one exception is Notepad, Microsoft Notepad, which is one of the most basic uh, editor out there. But Notepad++ does provide syntax highlighting. I have these examples. I have a C code, and you can see that it has a pretty nice, uh, you know, syntax highlighting. There's a JavaScript. Uh, this is a Python script, and then this is just a basic HTML. And so it does provide a syntax highlighting for pretty much all of these languages. And so it is much easier to code in Notepad++. This, the fifth reason is it is extremely lightweight. You can literally have hundreds of files open, and it is lightning fast, and it is just a plain text editor, so it, it is definitely faster than many IDs out there. And so, yep, it, it and probably that might be the reason a lot of people are using, because it's extremely lightweight. It has a great plugins support, so it is highly extensible. Now, you can go to plugins menu, and plugins admin, and you can see there's literally you know, hundreds of plugins out there to do different things. And uh, so, yeah, you can literally extend, uh, or you can write your own plugin as well. And so it is highly extensible. And for example, I have, uh, you know, if I want to preview HTML, I can do that. If I have to preview the Markdown language, I can do that. I have those plugins actually installed. I can quickly show you. I have this HTML. And if I want to just quickly see how it looks, I can do just as simple as preview, and it'll actually, it, it can show me the preview without opening a web browser. Uh, like if I have a markdown file, and if I want to just do a quick 
just a view, I can do that also right here and so on. And so it is very extensible. It has a great plugin support and there are a lot more out there uh, that are you know on GitHub and other, other projects for Notepad++. Number six is it's highly extend, uh, customizable. So what do I mean by that? Well, you can literally customize your Notepad++ with a lot of preference options. So if I go to settings, go to preferences, you can see that it is highly extensive, uh, customizable. Uh, you can literally make it uh, to your liking in uh, using these preferences. And so again, it has a, you can literally edit any part of Notepad++ and customize to your own, you know, workflow. And so it is highly extensible. It has an ex ex excellent editing capability. It has an incredible amount of support. Uh, if, you are, if you guys are interested, you can look at my one minute challenge in Notepad++ or Notepad++ beginners videos. I have uh, three or four different playlists. You can take a look at it to learn about these. But it, it, it has a very, very well uh, editing capabilities uh, for, you know, lines, multi-line editing, and, 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 and literally numerous uh, possibilities. It also supports many, many keyboard shortcuts. It may take a while for you to get used to it, but once you master the keyboard shortcut, you will be surprised how fast you can code in Notepad++. And so it has a great edit editing capability, great uh, keyboard shortcut. You can write out your own keyboard shortcut also uh, using you know, uh, the tool out there, Shortcut Mapper. It supports regular expression. So if you want to do search replace using regular expression, it can also do that. So if I go to search, go to find, you can see that it supports regular expression. So you can actually look into the file or you can, you can also look into number of files or a folder and do search, replace and so on. So it has a great support for regular, regular expression. And as I also mentioned, it has a powerful search and replace capabilities using regular expression and many other options. In fact, if I go to, to find, I can also open all, all the results in a different window and so on, uh, and right here actually. And so again, it, it provides a, a, a powerful search and replace capabilities. Uh, number 11 is it is actually pretty easy to use or learn. There is no steep learning curve. I, I have spent a lot of time in learning Vim and I know it is kind of hard. I know a lot of people really love Vim, but uh, it, it's hard for somebody to start Vim uh, or even Sublime Text. I found it a little, little challenging uh, to, and you, need, you may have to spend a little time to learn these tools. While Notepad++ is, is window-based, so it is pretty uh, user-friendly and it, it has a much less steeper learning curve. And finally, it has a great community support. Actually, there is a Notepad++ community out there uh, in which they have forum and you can ask questions, you, you can request a particular capability or plugin or, or any, any request you may have. And then there are many support you know, forums out there like a super user or a, st a, s a stack overflow where you can ask questions if you have anything about Notepad++. In fact, I have a, my own super user account uh, and uh, where I try to answer some of the questions regarding Notepad++. So these are 12 different reasons why you should be using Notepad++. Uh, as I said, it is very popular source code editor. And uh, if, you, if you would like to learn, please follow some of the playlist uh, in my channel. And I'm sure once you get used, uh, hang of it, uh, you can really speed up your code development. And so I hope you learn and use Notepad++ for your programming uh, uh, tool. And um, so that's about it. I hope you guys like this video. Um, I know it was a lot of information, 
But I hope you learned something new and I hope that you will continue to use Notepad++. Well, if you like this video, please click on the like button and please subscribe to my channel if you want to learn more about Notepad++. I do add uh, videos almost every week and even daily currently. And so you will get notified if I add a new uh, video about Notepad++. And if you have any comments, please add that in a comment section. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.